Hello again. This is like my third video this week, fourth video this week. I've just been on a roll since <laughs> since getting this phone. Um, I am going to today decorate. It is Saturday, November 30th, 2024. Today I am going to do a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so my Hobonichi Weeks, I'm going to be planning for the week of, uh, what's it called? This week, December 2nd through the 8th, which is going to be Monday. Um, you're starting on Monday. I, um, so the way that I've used my Hobonichi, this is my second Hobonichi. I had one, sorry, I'm trying to get this, make, make sure it's in frame. There we go, I guess. Well, I don't know. We'll get this figured out. Um, so the way that I've used my Hobonichi in the past, uh, my weeks in the past, has been in a, it's kind of, the idea was that it would be my like on the go planner. Um, you know, keeping like track on this side, obviously of like maybe, um, just events happening or quick things like doctor's appointments. Like I would just keep it in my purse. This side would be, um, you know, grocery lists uh, to purchase things like that. Right. Things, things I needed to buy. Um, so that when I was out on the go, I could, you know, have this with me, not have to carry around, you know, this. <laughs> so that is, that was my goal. I didn't use this for a few weeks here, about maybe, I looks like the last time I used it was the week of, the last week of August of 2024. And then I picked it back up um, uh, just actually like a month ago, or last week, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, I guess. Um, just because this was when I was kind of not, I ha now granted I'd used my other Hobonichis up until, um, early October, I believe, of this year. I only was out of them for about the, roughly the month of September, like late September to like mid-September to mid-October or something like that. Um, so I only was out of the other ones for a month. This one, however, I was out of for a couple of months. I just wasn't using it. I was still carrying it around in my wallet. I just wasn't using it. Um, and granted, that had not been the case last year or this year up until. Um, granted, I didn't use it super, um, like a ton, you can see. Like I used it, I just kind of used it. It's very practical, I guess. And so it's not something that I am constantly in. However, this is this week right now. Um, if you watched my last video, I think it was my last video, um, I talked about how this week, the week of Thanksgiving is always a fun week for me because I decorate for my son's birthday, for Thanksgiving, and then for Christmas, like all kind of in the same week. And it's kind of a fun one. Anyway, um, I ideally had wanted my weeks to be, like I said, on the go, but then also kind of a home planner, right? So the idea is if I'm on the go, if I'm out and about, it's because I'm running errands, you know, appointments, doing mom things, you know, right? And so the idea was that it would be also a finance planner, like a budget planner, a meal planner. Um, that was kind of the idea for this. And that is what I would like it to be. My months, I don't think I've really used for anything except for a couple things. Um, last week, last month, I've got this on December right now, but last month I did write in what our paychecks were. Um, and so I definitely think I want to use the monthlies as um, paydays and maybe even an expense tracker, like what we spend, what, what you know, at the end of each day, maybe just calculate what was spent that day, if anything, um, and then also tracking the income that comes in. Now I am getting, um, my husband gets paid twice a month. I get paid once a month from my job, but then I also bring in a little bit of income every month from Substack and Etsy. Um, so then when I get those payments, those are weekly, I believe. So I get paid like once a week from those. And so it's like, you know, $8 a week, roughly something, something like that. I am thinking about making that, um, monthly just so that I maybe know the day that it's coming in every month. And then that way it's just easier to have it to like, uh, track it, I guess, just because the day that it comes in every week, I feel like is different. Um, granted I haven't fully tracked that yet. 
Uh, but I would like to start just for organization's sake. And I feel like maybe making it once a month or twice a month might be easier than weekly. So I'll still kind of play around with that and see what I want to do. But the idea is um, that, that that's what I want to do is track income and expenses here. Now I do, because it's technically business income as well as our work income, I do want to, I do maybe want to track my, like my personal, like creative income separately in my writing, like business book. But then I also want to track here because it's also our income. So, um, so I, part of me wants to track it for the sake of like the business expenses and income, but then also just that's what we have coming in. I'm not really making a profit right now, um, from my writing or my zines on Etsy, uh, I don't know. I, I I might have made a little bit of a profit. I haven't really calculated that all yet, but that all obviously needs to be in its own separate thing because it's quote unquote business, but it's still, I still want to track it in here because eventually I'd like it to be our in uh, like additional income as well. So I will track that in here too, but it's not really, not, it's not really practical, I guess right now to track it in here, but I want to anyway. I uh, just want to get into the habit of it. So my idea is that I would track income and expenses on this and bills on th on these monthly pages, um, both just personal and business uh, bills and everything like that here. That is the idea. Um, and then, um, oh, and the reason I don't have my, De my December payday marked in this, you'll see like I get paid on the 25th or the day if the 25th is on a weekend, they get paid before it. However, in December, we are on break. We only have three weeks of work and we will get paid early in December. And I don't know what day that's going to be yet. <laughs> My guess is it'll be this last week of this or this week before we go on break. I work at a school. So my guess is it'll be this week, but I don't officially know yet. So um, I'm waiting to put the sticker in just until then. So anyway, my idea initially is for this to be paydays. I did consider making this a monthly meal plan too, though. I think that would also really work well. I just don't know. I feel like tracking income in here might be better because then it's just separate from all of this. Um, I've tried a lot of different things in here just over the, you know, just different... Um, different ideas like events, chores, to-dos, menu, health stuff I've thought about doing, um, which I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, the health aspect in here, I don't think I'll probably do. So anyway, I like a little bit of decor, but I ultimately want this to be a bit more functional so that I can, you know, jot notes down and things like that. Um, I don't know what my plan is. It'll obviously probably be Christmas themed this week, but I'm just going to go ahead and white this out. I don't always white out the stuff in the Hobonichis. I think I said that last time, but I'm just going to do it this time. So I don't know. I don't know if it would make more sense to track expenses and stuff. Cause that was my other thing. I'm like, oh, I could just track expenses here. Uh, I've been doing, um, where's an example? I've been doing meals. There's like a secret line. I don't know if you can see it right here that goes down and I have thought about making or what I've done in the past is make this little box my menu plan for the week and that's been something I think I've done a lot of um but I just don't know see like I've done it there and I just don't know if that's I don't know it's worked I just don't know if I get the most use out of it I this is where I've also thought about tracking expenses um and I don't, I don't know, that might be better, but I just feel like I kind of like the idea of having the, the, the money stuff over here, but I don't know. It could also work with meal and then I could write my grocery list here. I don't know. That's an idea too. Um, so I just, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I might do a little research on YouTube and see how other people use it and see if there's a way. I haven't watched a lot on ways to set up the Hobonichi, um, the Hobonichi weeks, just because I mainly use the cousin. Um, and this has always been a bit more functional for me. I always do like the least amount of decoration in this. Um, by the way, I have a sprocket and I, sorry, this is just a total side note. I just decorated last night. We did a family firework thing that like we, we watched fireworks as a family for Christmas. And I, obviously these are all really dark. So you can't really see everything in here, but 
I just learned when I was printing out these today that in my sprocket, I can actually combine photos into one. Like I can do like four to a to four, two or four to a, to a sheet. And I'm like, oh my, and they'd probably be really small, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I have not wasted it because it's still fun to have the full photos. But I'm like, I have spent so much money on getting those papers because they only come like 10 to a pack and I'm like oh my gosh I could have been printing out multiple photos and saving room on my sheet on my page as well as you know money on my photo paper so anyway I'm like cool I'm gonna try that one of these days see how see how it looks to print out multiples um anyway so all that to say this week I if you watched my last video I decorated um I decorated uh this next week in my Hobonichi cousin. Um, and I kind of did a Christmassy thing. So I'm just going to do that. I don't always match my weeks, but sometimes I do. So like, if this is the first full week of December, I'm like, Oh, I want to, I want to decorate for, um, you know, it's just kind of a fun week. So like last week was the week of Thanksgiving. So uh, and my son's birthday. So those I'm always going to kind of decorate the same, but sometimes I, if there's a vacation, I usually will decorate my weeks all the same. Um, like I'll prep them ahead of time because I don't bring my planner supplies with me. Um, so I'll prep all my pages before I go on a vacation so that I can bring them with me and, uh, uh, just have them ready to go for while I'm there. So that's always something fun that I do, um, or that I think is fun. Um, so those weeks I kind of will decorate the same. Sometimes like if it's Posca, I'll decorate the same. If it's, um, if it's, uh, oh, like church new year, I'll decorate the same. It just kind of depends. Um, oh, you know what? There was a, I don't worry about that quite yet. Um, so anyway, if you use a Hobonichi Weeks and you're watching this and you use it, um, I mean, you can obviously tell me however you use it, but if you also, I'm going to lower this down maybe a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to see if you, um, use it as like a home planner or as like a on the go planner, or if you're a mom or dad and you use it for, you know, appointments, shopping lists, budget like let me know like I said I'm sure there's a lot of different things online I could find and I just haven't like specifically looked for it so I'm going to I think a little bit later just to maybe try and get some ideas um but I think for now I'll just kind of use it as I've been using it where were those markers I used yesterday I'm gonna bring in oh I did like a pink spread yesterday um or the other day whenever I did my um and I'm not really doing that, so I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, making a list. That's cute. I'll probably do a... Is there a to buy one? Yes, it's to buy right here. So I will do this to buy list. Will I do the pink one? I think if there's a green one, I'll do a green shopping list. Or a green, like, list thing. Um... There's a lot of list, like long lists, but I don't really need have that much to buy. Oh, oh, what I was, so let me also say I was going, oh, here we go. I was going to, oh, pretty. I'll do this one because it matches the tree. Perfect. Ooh, do I want to do that though? Or do I want to do the lighter green? So um, I was saying earlier that I use this as a, uh, in my wallet. Mm, I'll do that one to break it up a little bit. Um, That I use this as a, in my wallet. And last year I had a Moterm. Um, last year I had a Moterm Hobonichi cover. Um, I don't think they call it a Hobonichi cover, but whatever the Moterm size is. Um, I had that and I, I let me just fix this too so it doesn't stick awkwardly. Um, and I kept it in that Moterm. It was a black Moterm cover and that was fine. But I did get to a point where I just didn't find that the Moterm cover was that great as a wallet for me personally. Um, I try to use cash and it just, there's no place for coins. Um, so I just didn't get the, I don't know. I didn't just use it. I didn't use it a whole, a whole lot. Well, I used it all the time, but I just, it wasn't as functional as I was hoping. So I, um, it, I just ordered a, um, Hobonichi brand drawer pouch Ane. Ana, Ana, I think is how you pronounce it. 
And I'm very excited for that because a Hobonichi Weeks can fit in that. And then there's also like a zipper pouch. There's place for cards. So I'm going to use that as my um, wallet now. And I'm very excited for that to arrive. Yesterday, I believe it was in Tokyo. So um, it should hopefully be getting here in the next week or two. And I can't wait to stick this in there and give that a whirl. Um, do I want to use these stars? I don't actually really care for these stars very much. So I kind of want to just use them. Maybe up here. I just think they're oddly shaped stars. <laughs> they're fine. Like they're fun. They're little doodles. But um, and then I feel like maybe if I put something here, I'll probably call that good on decoration. Um, I also don't know why I put the gold snowflake there. Do I want that there? Yeah, it's fine. Um, I've used a lot of the holly. Do I want to use the candy canes? I love decorating with candy canes. Mm, you know what? I think I'll use a box. Let me use a box sticker. Um, like a like to write in just to kind of um add a little bit of extra like decor, but then that can also be functional. Let's see, to do. We're let me write in really quick. So we've got so I do like to write in things that are happening. So like we've got church this day, church at six. We've got church at 6 on here, 6 p.m., obviously. But I still, like, you always kind of know if it's p.m. or a.m., um, but I still always add it in. Um, okay, so this is St. Nicholas Day. Um, and there is a church service this morning, but I will be at work. Um, there's church at 6 no, 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 at five on Saturday. It's church at five on Saturday, and then we have our church dinner at six. Come on, white out. That one might almost be out. Um, church at 5 p.m. plus church dinner. So this is where, like, with the Hobonichi Weeks, um, okay. Um, this is where you can see there's these little, if you're not familiar, there's kind of like little dots. So if you wanted to draw lines, you could have even boxes throughout. And this is where like you might have seen in the at one of one, on one of these, I kind of drawn some boxes in to kind of like try different things. And I just haven't fully figured out a consistent uh, a consistent um, way of using the weeks yet. I just haven't. I've been using it consistently. I love having it. Um, other than that, like, you know, month or two that I wasn't using it. I love using it. Um, I love having it with me. It's been very convenient for when like I'm on the go, there's pages in the back, like a lot of note pages. If I need to jot down notes for something, or if I'm listening to something and all of a sudden I'm like, Oh, I have some extra paper. In fact, um, I am considering getting a mega for this next year just so that I have the extra pages, but I'll probably only do that if I end up using it as a, oh, I don't want to use another tree. Oh yeah, I was going to use a box. If I end up using it as a, um, if I end up using it as a, do I want to do that there or down here? I think here to kind of break it up. We'll put it on when, on Thursday. Um, if I end up using it, well, well, that's the thing. I am going to use it as a budget planner and stuff. So I'm debating getting a mega so that maybe I can do, if I want some extra note pages to write things down from like budget meetings and stuff. But I, I will say I've had the regular size the last two years and I have not used all the note pages yet. So in, in either one. So I'm like, oh, do I want to go ahead and get the mega? Because I also want to do house things in it too, like write big lists of house projects we want to do and things like that. But that's where I'm like, I can do that um, with the fewer pages. But I don't know, I might get a mega just to like give it a whirl, I guess. I wonder though, with the mega, will the will the hope will this Hobonichi cover fit on a mega? I'm sure it will. I might have to check because I just ordered one of these for my next Hobonichi. Uh, for all my Hobonichis, and I might, the, the next one's coming up, and I might want to, this is cute, and it kind of matches those stars, and it might be a good way to use up these star things. I could do this, and then add a, 
So if I do the menu, I'm ruining that menu, <laughs> but we're just gonna stick that there and then I'm gonna get another blank box and put it, um, I always lose track of where, Oh, I could use another one of these. Ooh, and bring this in like right like that. What would I do? That's so cute. Oh, do I wanna, I don't know if I wanna use these in another spread later. Ooh, that's very cute. And I do already have, I'm going to, you might as, I might as well. That's something I'm trying to do, like, not hoard my stickers. Like, cause like, look, then if I'm gonna use a spread, I still have seven, so I can still use one a day if I want to. This way, um, I'm not wasting, or I'm not just holding on to stickers and like not using them, you know? I think, I like this, this is very cute. Um, okay, so uh, then I also have, um, I work, obviously, work from eight to two, work eight to two, um, work eight to two, um, I don't have to put this in, but I, I like to just so that if I do, if I am using this on the go and I have to open this up to like make an appointment or not that I don't remember what my work schedule is, it's the same. Um, I almost put it on Saturday as well. Um, that, that way I can, um, uh, where was my, oh, this one right here. Um, if I am working, um, if I am working, uh, or sorry, I'm all over the place. I know what my work schedule is obviously every week, but this way it's something where I can just, if I, you know, you never know. Sometimes it's easy to forget, um, just little things or I've definitely overbooked myself before. Cause if I, if I have things, um, going on and I just don't think about it and that's why having a planner on the go with me is so nice and that's why it might seem like you know like I just did this um over here and so it might seem a little bit like oh what's the word um like redundant you know what I mean like uh putting it in again but it's nice for me was this the one I used in my other one yeah I think so um it's just nice because then I've got it already done. I don't have as much pink in this spread, but it does tie in with that up there a little bit. Um, it, it's just, I know it's repetitive, but for me it helps because I do have ADHD and it's it, that repetition is helpful. Although, look, I hate when I do that. I accidentally went further. Now I wanna put something there or white it out, but I don't need to, it's silly. Um, so then I just have like a quick reference, like, oh, I've got church on these days, so I can't do dinner that night or whatever, right? Like if you have something come up. Um, and then like, this is gonna be Mama Declan Day. Um, if you didn't see my last video, um, uh, my husband has class from four to eight on Tuesday nights. And so that's always m uh, me and my son. Um, have like a mommy son date night and we watch, we either watch movies or we play video games or I think this week we might go to Barnes and Noble cause he got a Barnes and Noble card for his birthday. So we might go there and have hot chocolate and hang out. So um, obviously I covered up Saturday and Sunday for meals. Um, so I don't know if I'll do meal planning this day or for these days. Um, there's no paydays this week. Uh, I'm not gonna write in what I need to buy. I do have a to-do list that I've written here, um, but I don't really, I do need to get a St. Nicholas gift for my son and a Secret Santa gift. Um, um, let's see. And that's something that I could write down. Um, Secret Santa gift, just so that when I am out, got that little thing, that note to jog my memory. St. Nicholas, it was running out of room. St. Nicholas gift. Um, a lot of times I use, I'll use this for like grocery lists, but what I'll also do is if these are things I need to buy that aren't grocery related, I'll do a grocery list here. And then just, it kind of just jogs my memory for all of it. Um, 
think I'll just leave this as is for now. I think this is probably good. I've done now a 30 minute video for, for both of my planning, both of my week planning, but this was really fun. I do love when they kind of match a little bit, um, kind of like this. It's just kind of fun. They're a little different, but, um, I use the same sticker book at least. So that's fun. So yeah, this is my, this is my week's, um, for my week's plan with me, my first plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks. And, um, yeah, this is just my on the go planner. Just kind of keep it with me so that I can, um, have, you know, things jog my memory when I'm out and about, or if I need to jot something down or take notes or something in the back or whatever. Um, hopefully I do think my plan with me is as I do them. If I do more of these, they'll probably, I don't think they'll ever go Lord willing over 30 minutes, but I do hope in the future, maybe I can get it down to a little bit shorter. Um, but I don't know. I don't mind 30 minute videos. I don't mind longer. I like longer videos, but I know not everybody does, but then again, a lot of people in the planner community are kind of used to this length. So, um, if you're watching this, uh, as a planner, you know, someone who enjoys planner videos, you're probably used to this length. Um, but maybe in the future, they'll be, they'll be a little shorter. I don't know, but 30 minutes is probably the length that I would want to go for a plan with me. Um, so for, for something, for just a week, you know what I mean? If it's like a setup video, that's a little different. It'll be a little bit longer probably, but, um, for like just a basic weekly plan with me, 30 minutes is probably the length that I'll go, uh, at max. Um, so we'll see how that, how that goes in the future. And like I said, I don't know if I'll do this every week, but I've just been kind of in a video on a video kick lately. Cause I've just been having a lot of fun. So, um, anyway, all that to say, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching and, uh, I hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you have a blessed day. I feel like that's what I usually say. So, um, hope you have a blessed day and enjoy your week. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you later.